Hey guys, what's up? I don't know what that dance was, but as you can tell, we're going to be doing a tutorial today. I'm going to start by blocking out my eyebrows and I'm using a kind of full coverage concealer for this. I'm using concealer only because I do have really light eyebrows, so the concealer tends to do the job for me. But if you have fuller brows, I would suggest you do the glue method. Next, I'm just going to draw a line in between the center of my face to distinguish the two sides. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to my brow. First, lining the bottom of my brow. And then I'm going to go ahead and line the top. <laughs> wow, I can't speak English. <laughs> I'm going to line the top of my brow. Then I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. This is basically my normal brow routine. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to grab an angled brush and I'm going to apply concealer under the brow just to really sharpen up the look of the brow and just to clean it up if I made any mistakes. And I'm also going to bring the concealer down so that everything will be nice and blended. And I also added some eyeshadow primer to the lid to prep for the eyeshadows. And once I pat that all in, I'm going to set the eyeshadow primer and the concealer as well with some translucent powder just to mattify everything and so the shadows won't appear patchy on the eyelids. Next, I'm going in with my crease shade and it's like a warm... Um, it's like a warm peachy shade and then I'm going to grab... A dark brown and start packing that on the outer corner of my eyes and then slowly start bringing that, that into the crease and I'm just gonna go back and forth with adding shadow and blending make sure everything is nice and blended because we love a blended look <laughs> then I went ahead and did like a half cut crease on the inner part of my eyelid and I added some gold shadow and now I'm just adding some more dark brown to really blend the two colors together so that it won't look so patchy. And next, I'm going to go ahead and start on the other side of my face. And I'm basically going to start sketching out the honeycombs. And I'm going to do that on the entire half of my face. It is pretty time consuming, but pretty worth that at the end because it comes out super cool. Um... But yeah, I'm basically, basically going to do that for the entire half of my face, so yeah. Okay, so once I do that, I'm going to go over all these sketches that I made with a yellow paint, a uh, face paint. And it's okay if you still see some of that brown. I kind of like the way it looked. I feel like it gave the honeycombs a lot more depth if I would have just gone in with straight yellow. So I kind of like the look of it. But basically, I'm just going to trace everything that I did and if I want to fix some of them I will go ahead and fix them um, because some of them did come out uh, kind of not the way I wanted them. But now I'm going to pick up a brown paint and I'm going to basically shade um, the honeycombs just to give them a lot more depth because I was going to leave them like that but they look very very flat so I decided to add some shadows and also I'm blending the, sh the shadows out. With my finger, I just found it so much easier than having to go in with a different brush. 
So yeah, I'm just basically shading about half of it. And as you can see, <laughs> I did all of it. And I felt like it needed a little bit more depth. So I went in and added the slightest bit of black. Some of them are darker than others, which I kind of like the way that looked as well. And now I am just blocking out some of my shoulder using black um, body paint. And also I am going to block out my neck as well. But I am just doing the shoulders first to get that out of the way. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the neck portion and I'm just basically doing brush strokes on the neck just to um, get these little ridges. I don't know what you would call them, but um, I like the look of that. So I'm going to do that on the lower part of my neck and then the, the top of my neck, I'm just going to fill that in with the black. And I don't know what would you describe those, but they're just like rigid edges. I didn't want it to be too clean cut I wanted it to look a little messy so that's why I decided to go with those instead and now going in with a smaller brush I'm gonna go in with the yellow to blend kind of the two together and again it doesn't have to be like clean or anything I wanted that messy look and once I do the edge I'm gonna basically color my entire chest yellow with a yellow body paint as well Okay, so next I'm going to move on to the chest portion. I kind of did this prosthetic looking like <laughs> honeycombs, but I used a hot glue gun and I just did the shapes with the hot glue gun. And once the glue dried, I went ahead and peeled it off of the plate that I did it on and you got these honeycombs. So it was super, super easy to do and it saved me a lot of time. So that's why I went ahead and did that. And basically, I'm going to do the same process that I did with the ones on my face. I'm going to do some shading. And once you get the shading done, it starts to come together. So, yeah. So I'm now going back to the other side of my face and I'm just going to contour the hollows of my cheeks and up on the temples and now I'm going to apply a nice golden highlight to really match the entire look. Also off camera, I did apply some eyelashes just to let you know. Um, now I'm getting some red face paint and just kind of making that separation between the two sides. And just to add a little gore to the look, I put some fake blood on a cotton ball and I'm just kind of stamping it in between the center um, just to make everything look more blended rather than just super harsh between the two sides. And lastly, I'm going to apply a red lipstick on the right side of my lips. And that is the look, you guys. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more tutorials like this, let me know down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!